Oh, let the mirror reveal. Let the mirror reveal something about my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. They go from strength to strength as many as appear before the Lord in Zion. It is important for you to realize that you are changing. You must believe it as a revelation that you are changing. It is impossible, very impossible to be in this kind of atmosphere week in week out and remain the same you may not see it the same way you may not know what is happening to the seed that is sown in the earth but something is happening hallelujah realize that you are changing the bible says that we live in this kingdom through food and through words if you eat physical food alone you will not live well you need food and words man shall not live by bread alone he says but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus it will not tire me to encourage us to be very intentional and to be very serious about every service, every meeting, by the privilege of God's grace, every meeting is tailor-made by God himself and by the privilege of wisdom to attend to specific areas of our lives. Hallelujah. I can assure you of one thing, as I would always say, you will never come for any service where you will leave and say my time was wasted no hallelujah he said i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord you can go to a place that looks like the house of the lord and return back knowing it was not the house of the lord but if it is the house of the lord there are many things that must happen there one of it is enlightenment growth by the wisdom and the power of the spirit hallelujah i want you to pay very close attention to tonight's teaching keys to destiny fulfillment i want to teach and then we'll pray we'll be praying many times in the course of the teaching keys to destiny fulfillment the lord is going to be answering a lot of questions tonight and i pray in the name of jesus christ that at the end of this service someone will walk out of this place rejoicing in the name of jesus christ by reason of this teaching someone's mourning will be turned to dancing someone's sorrow will be turned to joy in the name of jesus christ and for someone while you are here listening may god be where you should have been if you were not here preparing things for you in the name of jesus and i say it from the depth of my heart that while you are here listening he said martha you are worried and upset about many things he said but one thing is needful and this mary has chosen probably you would have been buying and selling something doing a few things and you left all of that you have chosen that one thing for some of you because of this choice there are things you will not need to do again god will send men ahead of you in the name of Jesus Christ when Saul met with Samuel and received the word of the Lord from Samuel he didn't need to go back and look for the donkey that was missing that encounter equaled restoration the donkey went back home to wait for him there number two he didn't need to go and start searching for bread after that encounter supply was in that encounter as he returned, he found three men holding two loaves of bread. They saluted him and gave it to him. There are people who have been holding many things. They don't know why they've not been able to use it. They are holding it for you. God has kept them as caretakers. 
because the season is coming where God will instruct and when the father of spirit speaks I assure you they will release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ for someone here God will take a harvest a harvest worth years worth of harvest and bring to you as a gift in the name of Jesus Christ keys to destiny fulfillment write the word destiny down please write the word destiny down I want to discuss the matter of purpose and destiny as we pray tonight there are many people today who live purposeless visionless lives defeated in utter frustration and many of them would tell you sincerely that it seems like they are looking for something meaning relevance in their lives and as i would always say the only thing you find growing in their life is their age they do not justify the gift of time and years with anything that is pro kingdom with anything that makes for a meaningful life it's a tragedy our world is full of these kinds of people even our environment and it ought not to be so and like I would always say, the bailout, the spiritual bailout system for people's confusion and the tragedies around their life is the ministry of the teaching priest. If people are not enlightened and spiritually oriented to understand the ways of God and then make decisions from that standpoint of knowledge, most people will begin to waste their lives even though they may have a semblance of spirituality, they will not really find fulfillment. And it is dangerous. Dr. Miles Monroe would teach us that there is one thing greater than or worse than death. To live without a life of purpose, a life of fulfillment. When you are alive and you are just existing, that your life is not counting, your life is not making any impact at all. Hallelujah. Destiny very important word what is the meaning of this word destiny please write destiny generally means a predetermined future when we talk about destiny we're talking about a predetermined future generally speaking destiny refers to a predetermined future for the believer destiny means god's predetermined plan purpose and place God's predetermined plan God's predetermined purpose and God's predetermined place for you in his program God's predetermined plan God's predetermined purpose God's predetermined place in his program so when we talk about destiny, we talk about his plan, his purpose, and his place for you as far as his agenda and his program is concerned. Hallelujah. Now, this word destiny is very important. Others define it as your destination in Christ. Others define it as where you ought to be or where you should be at the end of the span of your life the summation of everything that you do daily weekly monthly yearly that culminates to a life of meaning and fulfillment and purpose there are many people who just enjoy the passage of time and they pass along and never